Hey, students. The third periodic trend we're going to talk about is metallic character. So what is meant by metallic character? So one of the things we have to remember is metals like to lose electrons. That's why they form positively charged cations. If we use this criteria for metallic character, so the more you want to lose electrons, the greater metallic character you have, we can think of it in terms of whichever atoms have the lowest or least ionization energy are the most metallic. So if we do that, we remember the biggest atoms with the least ionization energy were in the lower left-hand corner. The smallest atoms with the greatest ionization energy were in the upper right-hand corner. So if we think of it in terms like this, it makes sense that the most metallic elements are down here at the bottom. So metallic character increases as I go down a group. Why does metallic character increase as I go down a group? Well, it makes sense because I get bigger. It's easier for me to lose that electron in my valence shell because it's further away. If it's easier for me to lose that electron in my valence shell because it's further away, then I'm more metallic because metals like to lose electrons. As I go from left to right, metallic character decreases. Why? Well, as I go left to right, I'm getting smaller. Why is the atom getting smaller? I'm in the same energy level, but the number of protons pulling on that valence shell increases in my nucleus. My atomic number goes up as I go left to right. So I pull in that valence shell tighter. Also, as I go from left to right, I'm entering to where the nonmetals are. Nonmetals don't want to lose electrons. They want to gain electrons. So they have higher ionization energy. They're not going to lose them. They'd rather steal them. So if they don't like losing electrons, it doesn't make them very good metals. So they're poor metals. So if I use this concept, the lower left-hand corner are good metals, right? They're big. They want to lose electrons because they have low ionization energy. And the upper right-hand are good non-metals, or you can think of them as poor metals. It's a lot easier to think of this. So if I'm going to rank this from the least metal to the most like a metal, if I look at them, that makes it easy. The one to the lowest, right, at the very bottom is going to be the most. The one that's in the upper right is going to be the least. So. Who is the least? Oxygen. Oxygen really wants electrons. Okay. If I go, who would be next? Nitrogen. Both of these are non-metals. The reason why oxygen's less metallic is because it's more of a non-metal. It's a smaller atom. Then, aluminum. Now, what do I notice about aluminum? It's in the third energy rather than the second energy level. So that valence shell is further away. It's a bigger atom. It's easier to lose it. Plus, it's a metal. And last but not least, I take a look. Sodium. Sodium would be the most metallic. In fact, sodium is extremely reactive. Like all alkali metals, group one, they are very reactive. So that has the most metallic character. So I hope this basic review of these trends helps 
Again, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment. And thanks for tuning in.